The new Daily Adventure Incense is one of the strongest items in the game because you can get encounters with the three legendary Galarian birds, Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. Today we're talking about that incense and some tips on using the incense on how to maximize your spawns so you have a higher chance of encountering these legendary Pokemon. Before I do start, I just wanna say, depending on when you're watching this video, you might not have access to this Daily Adventure Incense special research in which you get it because Pokemon Go have confirmed that this feature is actually still currently rolling out. Obviously you might be watching this video a year down the line, so it'll probably be rolled out by then. But if you're watching this video, recently. Note that not everyone has this feature yet, but it is being rolled out globally slowly. Now to use this incense, you actually need to be moving to get spawns. It will not work if you're not moving. However, it works in a very specific way. It will take your GPS location when a Pokemon spawns off that incense, and it will decide once there's a new spawn supposed to appear, how far have you moved from the location you were in when the first spawn appeared. This means that you have to be continuously moving to new locations to allow you to get new incense spawns. If any of you have ever tried to use this incense in your house, you'll notice it doesn't work because when a new spawn appears, even if you're walking around in your house, you're not actually moving your GPS character further distance from where that spawn was, so you won't get that new spawn. It will only take into consideration the distance you've moved from when a spawn appears to when that new spawn isn't appearing. If you didn't move far enough, you will not get new spawns and get less spawns. That brings us to tip number one, always be moving when using this incense. Specifically, going in a straight line is gonna be most effective because again, if you are moving along that straight line, you are moving the furthest distance away from when that first spawn was. Instead, if you are moving and then let's say you have to turn right around the corner and you go this way, you're only actually moving this amount of distance. The number one tip to get the most spawns and hit those 28 Pokemon per incense ranges, which I believe is the highest I've seen, is going to be walk in a straight line and fast. However, not too fast. Going over 40 kilometers will stop all spawns from appearing, so make sure you do not go that fast. Walking can be great, but you can also use things like rollerblades, you know, skateboards, but be safe, wear a helmet, scooters, and other things to increase your speed so that you're guaranteeing that spawn every 30 seconds. I believe you can get a max of 30 spawns off of 15 minutes incense. That's one spawn every 30 seconds. If you are completely perfect off the incense, but of course I haven't seen this before because I don't think it's actually possible with lag and things like that. And the highest I've seen is 28 spawns off an incense. Pretty much move in one direction fast and that's how you maximize your incense. And that's the most important tip. The second most important thing here is going to be to choose a good location. You're gonna to wanna to choose a location in which you can walk for 15 minutes in as, as straight line as you can with minimal interruptions. I don't recommend streets where there's stop signs, you know, stop lights and all that stuff, and more recommend a rural area in which you're not gonna be forced to stop at a stoplight or something like that. On top of that, finding a place with minimal Pokestops and gyms and spawns is great because all this stuff can distract you from clicking on your main incense spawn. It would suck for you to have a Galarian bird, but you end up missing it because you accidentally end up clicking on a gym, and we all know that animation takes forever. Pretty much just find a straight line, rural area, a place where you can walk for 50 minutes in a straight direction with minimal stops, spawns, and gyms, so you can really focus on that incense and maximize every single day at your chance of getting one of these legendaries. Using an auto catcher is not gonna be effective when you are using these incense. Auto catchers have lower catch rates, of course, and they only throw one Pokeball, so make sure you disconnect your auto catcher when using this incense. Next up, let's talk about the incense refresh trick. If you don't know this trick, this is a trick that's been known for a while with regular incense. And of course, it works with daily incense. When you open your friends list on your account, it actually refreshes all the spawns on the map. This means that if you're using the daily adventure incense and your new spawn is not appearing, you can actually go into your friends list, refresh the spawns, and your spawn will appear faster than normal. Opening and closing your friends list when you're waiting for a new spawn is the fastest way to get that new spawn to spawn in so you can catch it and start the timer for the next spawn to appear. As long as I'm not catching Pokemon when my incense is activated, I'm pretty much just opening and closing my friends list to try to refresh that map and get that new spawn. A lot of people have asked me, is a quick catch technique better for daily incense or waiting for the full catch? It actually doesn't really matter at all. Using the quick catch technique or not will not affect the amount of spawns you get in the end. It'll just affect the amount of time it takes you to catch. Note that if you do use the quick catch technique, the spawn will actually not disappear off the map, although you've caught it. This is a common glitch known with incenses in which if you quick catch an incense spawn, it actually never disappears, but you still caught it. It's just a little visual glitch. Now, what are the best times to actually use this incense during the day? The number one takeaway is going to be avoiding events. Obviously, sometimes you can't avoid events with longer period of events that go on, but things like spotlight hours and commute days are the worst time to use this incense. Spotlight hours and commute days actually affect the spawn pool of the adventure incense, taking away at the chance of a legendary bird. So always use your daily incense before or after a commute day or spotlight hour when there is either no event going on or a more casual event going on, like for example, right now, the Hisuian event. That also brings us on to weather. If you don't know, weather boosts will increase the spawn rate of certain types of Pokemon. Pokemon like Galarian Moltres will be increased in foggy and windy weather. Zapto spawns will be increased in cloudy and windy weather. And Articuno spawns will be increased in windy weather. Using your daily adventure incense when there is windy weather in game has a, probably a small chance of increasing the spawns at Galarian Birds. But also this does mean that these spawns are gonna be higher levels, which means they're gonna be harder to catch. You don't know weather boost increases 
increases the level and cash difficulty of Pokemon in general. So what you can do instead is play during clear, cloudy, rainy, or snowy weather, as none of the birds will be weather boosted in those weathers. So if you do get one off those, there's a higher chance it's a lower level and has an easier catch rate. Take your pick, higher chance of finding it, but harder to catch, or lower chance of finding it, but probably easier to catch. You can use an app like AccuWeather to take a look at the weather predictions for the day, as we believe this is the app that Pokemon Go uses to predict the weather. If you're trying to plan on when you want to use your daily adventure incense, download that app and decide what weather you want to play in. Finally, if you do find a Galarian bird during the day, be sure to use a Golden Raspberry, use a Ultra Ball, and try your best to hit a excellent throw, or if you don't think you can hit excellent throws, just go for the great throw. These Pokemon have a average of 2% catch rate and a 90% flea rate, which means if you don't catch on the first ball, there's a 90% chance it runs away. Increasing the catch rate with those items is going to be in your best interest because you probably most likely only have one chance to catch it if you find it. Finally, don't expect much. A lot of people go into Daily Adventure Incense expecting to find three glaring birds or some crazy things. I know JT Gilly went off, but don't expect to be like JT Gilly and get back to back glaring birds and then another day you get one. Just go in, have fun, try to get as many spawns as you can off of it. And then if you fail, try again tomorrow. And hopefully over time, everyone will be able to get all three of the glaring birds in Pokemon Go. That's pretty much it. If I miss any tips, feel free to comment below and let them know. And good luck with your daily adventure incense. If you're still waiting on getting it, hopefully you guys get it soon and can experience this item in Pokemon Go because it's honestly absolute blast. We're gonna see you on the next one, guys. Follow from Tips, everyone. Peace.